Hello, welcome back. Today we are working uh, again in Learn to Code 1 in the Commands chapter, and we're working on the last activity in this chapter called the Shortest Route. So in the Shortest Route, it's a challenge that says we need to evaluate, look at all the options, and pick the shortest route. So the shortest route here to do what? Well, uh, it looks like up here on our score panel, we need to um, it looks like we have zero out of one gems collected and zero out of one switches toggled. So we still need to collect a gem and toggle a switch. All right, I'm going to pinch to zoom out here to have a look closer look at this puzzle. Um, this doesn't look so bad. Uh, I see the gem. It's straight ahead right here. And the switch is way over on the wall, on the top side there on the wall. So we could easily just take a path straight to the gem, turn left, um, walk over up the stairs to the wall, and then turn left again and toggle that switch and be done with this. So I think I'm going to try that to start with. So I'm going to tap to enter my code here and bring up the keyboard and I know I need to uh, let's look at this here move forward one two three move forward three to get to that uh, gem right there so I'll type in move forward move forward and one more Move forward so that I'll be right under that gem, and then I can just go ahead and collect the gem. Collect gem. Okay, uh, let's see how this looks here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure uh, to, that this sub part of this problem works. Move forward one, two, three collect the gem. Good. Uh, so we know that part of this works and we can just continue on with another subproblem. And this other subproblem is I'm going to get myself over to that wall. And uh, to get to the wall, I'm going to need to turn left and then move forward one, two, three, up the stairs four, and one more to the wall, which is five. So uh, turn left and then five move forwards. So, okay, I'll add that to our code. Turn left, and then um, five move forwards. Now, this will take a while to type here, but I want to show you a little bit of a shortcut here. You may have seen this already and discovered it on your own, but if you haven't, this is a real time saver. If you look on top of the uh, keyboard here, we have what are called some keyboard shortcuts. Notice that I have here collect gem move forward, toggle switch, and turn left. If I hit any of these buttons here, like if I hit the collect gem button, it's going to just add that code for me. And don't forget, you can always undo something if you want to with this key right here. I'll undo that. All right. So this will make it a lot easier to add five move forwards. Um, but I want to show you real quick how this works here so that um, as you're typing, you can um, use these keyboard shortcuts. So, for example, um, later on, we're going to have a lot more commands than just these four. And so, if I start typing, say, if I know the command I want is move something, if I start typing MO, notice that only the commands that start with MO are now listed. Okay, the playground, Swift Playgrounds, knows that the command we want starts with MO and it takes away all the other commands and leaves me just to move forward. So I can just go ahead and finish my typing uh, right here uh, using, that, uh, using that keyboard shortcut. A lot of times what we're doing here is if I say move and then I tap the move forward, I'm doing what's called keyboard completion, okay, or command completion. I'm typing a little bit of it to narrow down the commands, and then I'm completing the command by tapping on uh, one of the suggestions there, the one that I really want. All right. Uh, now, uh, just a word of advice here. So part of programming is being a pretty good typer. 
You can imagine that as you write a lot of code, um, you're going to want to be a good typer. Not all commands will be provided for you uh, in the shortcuts and also at times in code you're going to want to write little messages to yourself uh, about things you want to remember to do or plans you have for uh, a certain program and so on. Um, so all this will take less time if you become a better typer. So I'm going to suggest unless you're pressed for time you go ahead and uh, t at least type some of the commands, you know, maybe start typing move, for example, and then use the uh, shortcuts to complete it, uh, at least for a while till you become a really good uh, typer. Okay, so we need uh, five of these. We have two, so a couple more. Move forward, move forward, and one more. Move forward. There's our five of those. So I'm going to go ahead and run my code. And see if Byte gets this second subpart done. Collect the gem, turn left, move forward, move forward, move forward, four and five. Okay, he's in good shape. Now all he needs to do is turn left, move forward two, and toggle that switch. So turn left, and there's my uh, com command completion here. Turn left move forward, move forward, and toggle, and there's my command completion for toggle switch. All right, let's run this. Forward, move forward, move forward, collect gem, turn left, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward two, and then finally, toggle the switch. He did it. All right. Uh, the message says good work here. We've solved the puzzle. We can move on and learn about functions, but as an added challenge, it says, can you find an even shorter solution? Hmm. Can we find a shorter solution? Well, well, let's look at this puzzle a little bit here and see if we can be um, a little more clever. I'm going to run this code for a second just to get Byte back to the beginning or near the beginning. All right, take a minute here and see if you can find a shorter solution. One hint is we didn't use any of the portals in our previous solution. Okay, you got it? And I think I see one that might be a little bit shorter. If we move forward and collect the gem, and then we keep on moving forward, we'll end up on the green portal, which will transport us all the way over here right to the wall. With the added advantages, we'll be facing uh, to the right, which is the direction we need to go to get to the switch, to the closed switch. That looks like it might be shorter. Just to be sure, I'm going to count up the commands we used in this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen commands. So we used fourteen commands in our original version here. Let's go ahead and delete these. So I'm going to delete these. And let's try this new one here. So we said that if we start back at this arrow here, we need to move forward again, one, two, three, just to get to the gem and collect it. Move forward, move forward, move forward three, and then collect gem. Move forward, move forward, move forward, collect gem. And then I'm gonna get to the green portal. I'm gonna move forward two to get to the green portal. So I'm going to say move forward to, move forward to, and let's try that and see if it works out like we expect. Um, moving uh, to collect the gem and then to the green portal, we should end up on the wall on the far side there. Nice. Okay, now, uh, this is really simple now. We just need to move forward to and toggle that switch. So from here, we'll move forward two, one, two move forwards, and then toggle, toggle, 
the switch. And that should do it. Move forward one, move forward two, move forward three, collect the gem, take the green portal, now move forward two more, and toggle the switch. All right. It says we found the shortest route. Nice. Uh, so uh, let's close this up here and just to be complete about this maybe let's look at um, this puzzle one more time I'll send bite back to the beginning okay whoops a little too far there um, send it back to the beginning do you think there are anything even shorter than this this one took one two three four five six seven eight nine so quite an improvement our last version took 14 commands this one was quite a bit more efficient at only nine commands um, you think there's a more efficient way to do this if so why don't you uh, write about it in the comments okay and we'll uh, maybe discuss that solution um, there so anyway, uh, we're done with the commands section. In the next chapter, you're going to learn about functions, and that's where things get to be a lot of fun uh, in programming. Um, so uh, look forward to that, and we'll see you next time.